Hey, what's going on out there, music fans? I am Mike Rocha from Shockwave Magazine, and I have the utmost pleasure of being able to interview, first, Jeff Totten of Project Independent and the most famous, Metal Sonaz. And we're here today covering Project Independent here at Sonar in Baltimore. And these guys have been all over the road just uh, promoting bands all over the country. And I'm going to first speak with Jeff, and you could, uh, I'd love to first talk to you about, you know, tell us a little bit about Project Independent, how it started and what it's all about. Um, it was really put together by a relationship that I had as a manager with Eric Ulrich um, from the band I Rate. I was managing that band. Um, we were doing a lot of West Coast touring. A lot of these tours were hit and miss, and you know we were kind of running across similar problems in, in these areas. So we really wanted to create, first and foremost, a place where people could come together and, and just communicate, talk about the different problems that they're having within the industry, you know, talk about what's working on the East Coast, talk about what's working on the West Coast, collaborate. So really, Project Independent was never supposed to be what it is now. It was just supposed to be a place where we could kind of gather. Um, we wanted to create opportunity. Uh, uh, a lot of sponsors, a lot of manufacturers came to the table wanting to contribute to this concept. Um, so we kind of wrapped it all into a, a battle of the band style of program. Um, I use that term because that's what a lot of the people are, are used to when they see a program of, of this nature where there's a prize at the end. Um, you know, we're a showcase company. We're not really a battle of the bands in that, you know, at each of these events they're not really uh, dictated by the fans. Um, at these events, their showcases, these bands are critiqued on musicianship, showmanship, workmanship, and then we as an organization determine which bands are ready for the next step. The bands that are, those are the bands that we present to the general public and allow them to vote for their favorite band online. That happens during the month of December, and then we make the uh, presentation January 1st, and that's where we go from there. Sounds awesome. Now I wanted to ask uh, Ms. Metal Sonaz, how did you first come about uh, board getting uh, being a part of Project Independent? Uh, we met about four years ago, right? Yeah, it's it's been a while. We've been we've been talking about it, you know, a little here, a little there. Hmm, should we do this together? Uh, I don't know if I can get on tour like this, because you know, it is a it is a rough tour. So, uh, you know, probably sixty. 60 days non-stop pretty much in, in here so I mean, we're tired you know we're t we are tired but it's it's been it's been an absolute great thing for me to be a part of this because it's taught me a lot of stuff as well She gets to come out and, and experience it the same way that the bands do. Yeah. <laughs> in the back of a van. I and, do. And you know what? That's that's awesome because there's not too many chicks in metal. No, there that ain't would, any. <laughs> that would come out and just do that. And it gives her street cred. You know what I'm saying? Well, I was going to say, I mean, speaking of that, I mean, you definitely should check out some of our Baltimore bands because we do have a big rise of a lot more girls uh, coming into metal. There should be. I, I encourage girls to do that. I, you know, they always come up and ask me how I started and stuff. Oh, yeah, pick up a camera. Pick up a flip cam. Doesn't matter. Just go out there. Support your scene. You know, interview your local bands. You know, the small bands. And then from there on, once you gain their respect and this and that, little by little, next thing you know, you'll be doing bigger stuff and bigger stuff. But it's. I'll tell you one thing. This whole business is all about respect and you know, making friendships and being positive and not fucking up so as long as you can put all those together and keep your head in the, in the right place you can do it you can get anywhere and and the bands absolutely absolutely need it so that's, it's not like sure. it's, it's not necessary it's something that's definitely needed in the industry so the more people you know pick up a camera and uh, start doing it the better for the bands that's true that's true. It's good to hear you guys have that going on. That's good. We're trying. We're, we're trying <laughs> every little bit. And it's kind of just, when well, you guys mention all that, it brings me to my next question. Because just from listening inside, inside there, I understand that you're filming all this for a reality TV show. Is that correct? We are. We are. Uh, we have a limited entertainment on board. Okay. They are shooting a magnificent piece. Every day, it's, it's nothing less than epic. You know, we wanted to go out. And, and obviously, there's not a great metal history all throughout the country. Um, 
I think there could be, but metal is still a relatively new art form in the whole scheme of things. So um, it hasn't really made its way into some of the smaller areas. You know, there's some random bands that do pop up, and, and that's why we kind of give the small areas just as much attention as we do big cities because right. you never know when you're going to find that needle in a haystack. Um, but yeah, you know, we're shooting for the uh, we're shooting for the the reality show, and I'm I'm very curious to see how this is going to pan out. I'm very excited because, like I said, the footage that we've got, the places that we've been have been nothing less than epic. The stories that we've, uh, you know, kind of come across along the way. It's, the things that we've been through. Yeah, it's it's been fun. It's been a blast. That's cool. And I, yeah, from what I've heard so far, yeah, it definitely hasn't been a dull moment this far. And Metal Sanaa is like, I understand this is your first time in Baltimore. Yes. How how's it been so far? So far, I hear a lot of <laughs> bad Baltimore, yeah. And uh, probably a lot of people have gotten shot or something. Um, I don't know, but you know, one thing I can tell you guys: the weather is fucking fantastic. I cannot complain about that. I am happy as I can be. We've been through two, three weeks of absolute cold, and this has been. Oh my God! I woke up. I'm like, my phone is saying it's gonna be 80 degrees. Come on a good day. <laughs> Her mood really comes and goes with the weather. It does. It does. She should be a weather girl. Yeah. <laughs> not in cold areas though. I would not go there very well. Awesome. <laughs> no, but it's been it's been really good. I mean, you guys obviously have a great scene going on because bands are good. You know, the bands aren't here obviously for something, but their fans are also. Yeah. That's what sometimes there's a lack of, of you know support in some of these shows. And that's what bothers me, and it seems like you guys have it. You know, and it's, you. Good, it's good to see that. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're busting at it. I mean, everybody's been busting their butts every day just to make something out of, you know, out of this because it's, it's, it's a hard scene. Metal is a very disrespected you know, genre, so like yourselves, we all got to fight to make it something better. That's right. There's a lot of good people putting up the fight, too, and we've been fortunate enough in the first month of the tour to run across some, some great people. and. You know, we've got another month to go, so let's go find some more. Let's get everybody on the same page. And some assholes that we had to put in their place. Yeah, whatever. Mm, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's all right. That, that, there's that, there's that more bus. The there's more bus than there are them. Exactly. That's all right. That's cool, but um, I know because from hearing you and then, like this has been going on for a few years. Like, what are some bands that have really like shined throughout the years from? I'm, you know, there's been a lot of bands that have gone through this program. I, you know, a lot of people ask me, hey, well, can these bands, you know, um, hang their, their success on being involved in this program? You know, bands are either hardworking or they're not. The program is a tool. So I would never take responsibility for a band's success any more than I would their failure. It's like we're here to help. Um, there have been some great bands that have gone through this program. In this moment, has gone through it. Oh, okay. Um, Five Finger Death Punch. Nice, okay. Um, Trivium. There's All been right. some great bands that have played on our showcases. Again, are we responsible for their success? Probably not. These were all hardworking bands. Hardworking bands are going to rise to the top. The ones that don't work so hard, they're not. You know? So I hope that, uh, I hope that we provide an opportunity for the bands that are that are to that level, to where they deserve the opportunity, and I hope that we provide a good, um, a good starting point, a, a good uh, mode of guidance, if you will, for the younger bands, the bands that, um, you know, that need this help, that need to get to the level of some of the, the better bands on the bill tonight, you know what I'm yeah. saying? We're going to see some pro bands representing Baltimore. We've got some youngsters that are on the bill that, you know, can really use the critique more so than the elder spokesman. But, uh, yeah, you know, we want this program to be educational as well as an opportunity. There you go. And I got one final question I wanted to ask you guys, just from, you know, really being dedicated just to the scene of metal. What do you like that's going on in metal, and kind of what do you dislike that's going on? You know? I'll tell you what I dislike. Okay. Yeah, I know I, you do. <laughs> I, I dislike people coming out, supporting their friends, and then leaving. Where the fuck are you going? If there's a party, please let me know because I would like to go too. I'm not used to that. I'm, I'm used to, it's a Friday night, it's a Saturday night, we're going out, let's go. Where are we going to go? Pick a place. Okay, let's go. Let's get there. Let's have fun while we're there. I, I don't understand. There are no metal scenes per se. 
and that's really much uh, that's a big disappointment a lot of people supporting their friends metal bands but they would probably support their friends bands if they were in a country band as well yeah. exactly. you know what I'm saying yeah. so it's not like you're supporting metal and and that's that's a moment. yeah I agree with him I agree with him all right good there's lots of good there's a lot there's a lot of people that uh, wear their pride on their sleeve they're not afraid to do so, and they do so in the name of metal. And I think that that right there just kind of sets the path for everything else to follow. It opens the doors for artistic, uh, you know, creativity. It opens the door for a little bit of free expression. And really, isn't that what metal's all about? Exactly. And stop chopping up metal into different genres, please. <laughs> yes. I've had enough. I can't even. I don't even know what type of genre of metal is, there is out there anymore because there's so many of it. It's just metal, okay? That's what it is. That's all I gotta say. Stop that fighting. If we were one big family, the opportunities that were presented would be presented to us would be much more. Exactly. But the, at the bottom line, you know, the, at the end of the day, it's, so it's about the bottom line. Yeah. And when they don't see the potential for return on their investment, they're not going to invest. Well, 100,000 people doing this genre, 100,000 doing that genre, well, how about 1 million metalheads? Right. Now, all of a sudden, there's power in numbers, and I would like to see that happen. Exactly. Well, guys, Nelson Oz, Jeff, thank you very much for your time. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, guys. You can check this out on shopandmagazine.com, and we'll make sure it gets on the Project Independence website as well. Uh, if you're out there watching, you know, us in Baltimore, Texas, or, you know, bumfuck Egypt, Support metal, support just, you know, good music too, you know, and support, you know, what we're doing and that way when you guys complain about what to do on a weekend, you support this, you have something to do, all right? So thank you very much. I'm Mike Rocha from Shockwave Magazine and let's go back and let's do some kick-ass stuff.